I'd like to call the uh, February 10th, 2015 Transportation Committee agenda to order. Uh, Madam Secretary, let it know uh, Chris Lohr is absent. Uh, Terry Castle is stuck in traffic. She may be in a little bit later. Uh, Mr. Ken Dawson is going to lead us in prayer, followed by the pledge. I'm going to pray. Father, we thank you for this day, for this is a day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for the opportunity that you've given us to serve the people of Ascension Parish. For you said in your word that if you want to be great in your kingdom, let them become the servant. We thank you, God, for the wisdom to guide this parish well and to serve the people, oh God, in a way that would be appealing and pleasing to your sight. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Dawson. We'll move on to number three, the pub public comment period. Anyone wanting to speak on an agenda item, please sign in with Ms. Liz, and uh, you'll have three minutes to speak. Also, Ms. Liz, let it be known, Ms. Terry Castle had made it. Um, chairman's report, I have none tonight. Any, nothing on it. We'll move on to number five, road department monthly report for January 2015. Mr. Moose Pierce, DPW director. Yes, thank you, council members. Mr. President, um, in the month of January, we had 9.96 tons of recyclable materials collected at the DPW drop-off in January. Um, uh, regarding DPW work orders uh, and ditches and culverts, we had 499 total work orders. We had 6,499 feet of ditches were cleaned. 3,973 feet of culverts were blown out. We had 19.8 miles of ditches were cut or technically 39.7 uh, because we go bo down both sides of the ditch. Uh, for um, lot violations, there were no lot violations reported in January. Litter violations, there were two litter calls, but no violations. That concludes my report. Thank you. Ms. Terry, any questions for Mr. Pierce? I don't have a question at the moment, but I certainly have uh, an, an, an appreciation. Uh, Moose, I want to thank you so much. I called this last week. We discussed the uh, terrible conditions on the Bluff Road. I don't know what has been going on in the community of Dutchtown, but there's just been an amazing amount of litter. And so uh, I asked Moose if he and his uh, folks could help us to clean up that street. and. Uh, not, now there's just a whole state highway full of orange bags, full of garbage. And I, I thank you so much for that. It, it means a lot to the members of our community to have that cleaned up. And, uh, and I'm certainly going to try to have some public outreach to encourage folks not to litter our, our community, and particularly our the Bluff Road and, and all over the parish, we, we have a wonderful community, and it is a shame to see the kind of trash that's on the side of the road. So, uh, Moose, again, thank you to you and, and your folks for uh, helping to get that cleaned up. I appreciate it very much. I realize there were uh, members of the Sheriff's Office task force folks that are out there. I, I'm not sure exactly what that's called. Moose, you might want to identify those folks. But uh, I, it was the... Was it prisoners or? Yeah, they had the prisoners. Uh, when we get a calls, you know, the prisoners come out on, uh, I don't know if it's a weekly basis, but maybe a, a semi-annual, or semi, semi-monthly basis, bi-weekly, I guess you could say. Well, I appreciate and, uh, them, but I also know that you, uh, your own department helps some in that, in that your, your folks that uh, could be freed up to pick up some trash did so and I am very grateful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Mr. Dempsey. Thank you, Chair. That was good. Nothing. How about you, Mr. 
Joseph, anything for Moose, well, so I got one, uh, I guess, oh, are we, do we have a little backlog as far as the ditch digging? I was talking to a couple of the supervisors and we're a little bit far, further behind. Are we getting close to catching up or? You no, know, there's a little backlog there. That's just. Crazy. Yeah, um, we, we, we do a lot of, a lot of ditch digging as you can yeah. see in those, those work orders, you know, and. Uh, I know they go by priority if there's an issue as far as drainage or sewer or what, you know, but. We get called in from the residents, you know, we try to get it, jump on it as soon as possible. Okay. And uh, there's, there's somewhat of a backlog, not, okay. not very much, not, but, you know, it's catching is. up. Okay, thank you. Any more questions for Mr. Pierce? We'll move on to number six, road project status report. Mr. Jason Taylor, transportation engineer. Uh, parish projects totaling approximately 40.4 million. Uh, Church Point at Roddy is still in property acquisition. Uh, the 2013 road maintenance package, as as you all know, is is ongoing and they're moving they're moving along at a at a pace faster than what we expected. Um, the 2015 road maintenance package is uh, is basically at 60 percent design. We expect that to be designed uh, shortly. Um, Parish wide horizontal curve sign upgrades. We just received um, uh, the contract between um, LADOTD and uh, Ascension Parish, and uh, we're, we're going to be placing those signs. Uh, Highway 42 sewer uh, improvements. The estimated completion date on that, are just for the uh, <clears throat> just for the uh, sewer improvements, is March 26 of 2015. Uh, Highway 73 sewer improvements. The total project uh, completion uh, is estimated at, at May 31st of 2015. And just as a note, the original start date on that was October 22nd, 2011, with a 600 calendar day contract time. The St. Landry Edenborn connector. Uh, the plans are ready to go. We are waiting on environmental clearance. And just so y'all know, the um, the rules for environmental clearance are being um, readjusted by uh, by Vicksburg. Um, uh, Roddy Road intersection improvements, uh, the roundabout study that is going on. Uh, they have the existing model created and are and they're working on the alternatives model. Um, that is again a, a one year contract, so we're still a ways out before that one is done. <coughs> State projects totaling approximately $76.6 .6 million. The LA 30 mill and overlay, um, it's approximately 71% complete. Um, they, they did some change orders on this project and added some concrete islands in the center turn lanes um, and, uh, and, and are doing some, some shoulder work. Uh, the estimated completion date of this is March 20th of this year. Uh, LA 3251, um, that's uh, Ashland and, uh, and 1,003 and mill and overlay, um, 1,003 is Star Road. Uh, drainage work and cleanup, it's, it's done basically. Uh, LA 431 intersection improvements, um, that, that they're doing a lot of signal work on that. Um, hopefully they will be done with that by the end of this month. Um, they're, they're saying the completion date is at the end of this month. Um, uh, separate item, the LA, uh, um, <clears throat> the LA 42 boat launch, uh, that'll be a, a separate item, bring it up then. LA 73, uh, widened from I-10, we've talked about that, uh, 431 at Gold Place, that's in design, and, um, LA 3089 traffic signal upgrades, uh, is 65% complete, and, uh, actually it should pretty much be done by next week. Thank you, Mr. Jason. Uh, any questions? Ms. Castle? Jason, thank you very much. What is the, uh, how realistic is a May 31st date on Highway 73? I would say it's, it's, it's very realistic. Um, they've, uh, <laughs> right, we'll, we'll get another update on Thursday at the, at the utilities meeting, but it looks like they've got, um, they've got a, Good bit of the groundwork done, so the the rest of it gets a uh, little gets done a little more quickly than what you've seen. Well, that's that's very exciting. I, one <coughs> follow up question, if I may, sure, Mr. Chairman. Sure. 
the the lighting of the uh, interstate and 73 interchange. Yes, ma'am. What's the progress that's been made on that? Uh, that was not in my list, so it has not been let yet. Okay. Um, it's it's a waiting let. Do we have an expected let date? Uh, I believe it was. I apologize. It's been let. We had a 120 day um, assembly period due to the um, amount of time it takes to get those poles made. Um, it's 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 really unbelievable how long it takes for that to get made. So we're looking at April before they start construction. I had to go back into my memory and remember that. That's, so sorry. No, that's okay. We're looking at April before construction starts on it, and that's if they receive the polls. I will make a note to make sure that's in the next road report, though, for you. Keep me updated on that, if you will. Thank you so yes, much. Mr. Dawson? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just uh, on the parish projects, just wanted to update you on one issue with the St. Landry Edenborn connector. Uh, you know, that project was one that uh, we attempted the Tiger Grant, but it is kind of a shovel ready project. What we're doing is that the 30 expansion, uh, or the, the 30 work that uh, the project the DOTD is looking at for Gonzalez, we, we are really working with DOTD and discussing the Ashland to St. Landry uh, um, through road, which is now in zero, I think it's in zero stage feasibility study with um, the MPO and, CR, you know, and, and CRPC, and then make the connection on to uh, St. Landry, Edenborn to 40. The plants over there love the idea because it gets traffic off 30. I had a meeting last Friday with, uh, with uh, Jamie Seth and with uh, DOTD, and I'm um, talking about how we can make sure that that is a consideration of solving the issue. The goal is if we can get traffic off of 30 instead of getting on there, then uh, we help the situation greatly. So um, uh, they promised that they will look at it some more, and um, CRPC is working very closely with us to make sure that uh, attention is being paid to that possible solution. Thank you. Mr. Dawson. We're four years ahead on that project by getting it shovel ready. So. If any money to become available, we should be first in line once we get the environmental clearance. So, and the other thing I want to talk to you about, I think uh, next at the next transportation committee meeting, uh, DOTD is going to come. Jamie Setz is going to come to discuss uh, a new interchange in Ascension Parish, the Highway 42 interchange, uh, which should come from the interstate and uh, cut across, uh, not over Swamp Road, none of that. It's going to go in that open field and then zigzag back to 42. So. It won't, uh, it won't disturb any, any, I don't think, any houses along that route. And uh, I know Terry's been uh, talking about uh, uh, Corner View, uh, putting another interchange there. But uh, right now, the only interchange that's in the mega project and the only interchange between Baton Rouge and New Orleans at this time is that Highway 42 uh, interchange. So, you know, I think at some point it's going to become a reality, but they're going to come next we can uh, basically talk awesome. to you. It's about an $84 million project, so. Yeah. Good, appreciate it. Appreciate I just it. want to uh, elaborate on Mr. Martinez's comments. I, I was I visited in some of those meetings as well, and it is going to be so important to this pros project that we have community support and that we are, we are aligned behind the decision that this is where this First intersect interchange, new interchange in Ascension Parish needs to go. I'm not going to give up on a second one at uh, at Cornerview, but I know realistically that it is years behind 42 because of the stage at which the 42 project uh, lies today. So uh, there's already been considerable amount of study on that many years ago, and that study I understand is still valid. Uh, they, they did a. Uh they did a. They looked at all the interchanges about three or four years ago, and they uh, looked at the 73 uh, interchange where it crosses. Well, 74 way 74. Mm -hmm. across. They looked at that one. They looked at the 42 one, and they looked at. Uh, I'm not sure if they looked at Corner View or not, but I think they did the one by Alligator Bayou maybe, and uh, the one that they thought would do the most good was to be the the, the 42 project, and uh, what it also does it opens up a lot more land for. Uh, uh, commerce too because that's all open land in there that that's pretty much landlocked right now so but they they seem to, 
think it's got a chance of uh, becoming a reality because it's the only interchange in between. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. Yeah, so, so it will be very important that as a, a committee we, uh, we strongly support that effort and that we meet in our communities and do all we can do to help people to understand that if we do not align ourselves behind this proposition, then, you know, it, it may be decades before we see another interchange in Ascension Parish. Thank you. Mr. Dempsey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Jason, on a 2013 road project, uh, Sullivan, right? Yes, sir. Um, I really appreciate their patience. Uh, I know they've had quite a few obstacles out there with, you know, water and gas, utility problems. Uh, I'm glad to hear you said they're ahead of schedule, so we we don't have any downtime so far. Well, we've had rain delays, but they are moving. They are they are moving along quite quickly. Okay, so it, it's more or less all in line. Yes, sir. What we need. Uh, I had one that was on Wallace Acres that called. Uh, it had some problems with some uh, debris in the water, so. I appreciate y'all getting on all the calls as we call them in. That's working out good. On the 2015, you're doing that in-house on the engineering? Yes, sir. And President, we're not going to have any problem with uh, getting this out pretty quick? It, it'll, be, it'll be close. Um, I, I, it's, we've still got to go through a review part process, but um, the design should be done by then. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, for me, it's probably before June. Someplace May or June. So we'll we'll start up. We'll be following right into another project. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. The um the only other thing I'll comment on that I appreciate everything that uh, the president has helped me with the, the boat launch at Highway 42 and our representative uh, Johnny Berthelot. This is going to be a nice project uh, after completion, and I think what are they saying? March, April, possibility. Yeah, I think that's that's on there, and basically what we agreed to is to to maintain it, but they agreed to uh, to put the supplies that it takes to do it. They uh, throw so many tons every year to to, to fix it, and then. Uh, in our agreement, we took away uh, any engineering responsibilities or liabilities uh, to the parish. So basically what we're going to be maintaining is the parking lot. Uh, uh, the rest is going to be uh, pretty much warranted by DOTD and the engineering. So, okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate that, Brown. Ms. Castle, you had something else before we move to Mr. Jones? Yes. The, um, okay. the projects that are being done... Uh, on parish roads, overlays, road improvements that, are, that aren't on this list, the local projects that Bob, I think, was uh, working on. I, I, for lack of a, for, for, in spite of myself, I can't think of what it was called. I mean, we have the whole list of everything that's going to be done on all the local parish roads. Are we going to be getting updates on that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, Scott, well, she, she may uh, be speaking of the road project when uh, the whole project was given to us by priority and yeah, uh, the program that the previous en oh, engineer. Oh, I, 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 it's yeah, the, I apologize. I couldn't uh, think of what we called it. It's the the STP, the yeah. uh, state the state transportation plan for our, our local roads uh, or for the roads in our area. Yes. Um, is that that's what we're talking about? I, I, I can do that. That's not a problem. Most of those, most of those don't don't become reality until their use year, and we don't have a valid. Well, we have a valid use year. Sorry, we don't have one that's coming up until uh, late 2016. I, I don't think that's what I'm uh -huh. talking about. <laughs> yeah, she just wants a list of the projects that's ongoing: 13, 14, 15. A list right. of the roads. That's what All she's looking road for. Projects. Oh, sure. Yeah. You're looking but for the current sure. ones or the future? I, I just love the current ones, how the, what the, what's being done on them, where they are, what's coming next. I mean, I, we've had uh, lots of discussion about those particular roads. Those are the ones we get the most feedback from our constituents about. Yes, ma'am. And so I'd love to be able we'll, to say, we'll, get it. well, yes, we're going to be getting to yours, but we're in working in this area right now, and 
you know, next, next month we'll be working in this area or however that's going to happen so that I can intelligently answer um, questions. I, I went through Galvis the other day and I see we're getting some nice overlays done in some of the, the little subdivisions that obviously have for years been needing to be done and I was very pleased to see that. Uh, so I just am now curious about what's the order, what's the priority about those, and when will we get to Santa Mall and Dutchtown? And yes, ma'am. Um, as a matter of fact, we've just uh, recently had our DPW crew start driving the roads again to to do their assessments on that. So we'll get you an update on that list and an update on the priority and kind of a status of which ones are in the 2013, 14, and the 2015 package, and then uh, where, where we're headed for 16. Yeah. Right, that's, what, that's all I'm looking for. I mean, it looks like the, the progress is being made, and I'm proud to see it. I just, I'm curious about when we'll get to, you know, I want to be able to at least give somebody a reasonable expectation for when theirs might be done. Thank you. And I think once once we let out a contract with the whoever's actually building the roads, they take the contract and they prioritize where they're building the roads. So a lot of times we don't know probably to tell us ahead of time this road's going to be done six weeks from now. You know, I know the contractor takes it over and he, he, he moves it forward. He's got all the roads on his list and he takes it, I guess, we, we don't set a list of where he's got to go at what certain Correct. time. Right. Yeah, he's I mean, got he's, the contract he, and he, he takes does off that, with it. The contract. Yeah. So could he? Is there a way that he can communicate what he's what he's looking at? We'll get that to you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Mr. Jones? No, no, no. You good? Uh, you, Everybody's good. Answer all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, nothing further there. We're going to uh, number seven discussion of roads. For acceptance into the parish maintenance system, Mr. Ricky DeArmond, um, Inspector uh, Jason. Uh, Ricky's going to Ricky's going to talk about this. I just want to let y'all know um, these roads, the 1,700 feet of roads, roughly 1,700 feet of roads, is going to cost us anywhere from uh, six thousand to ten thousand dollars a year, depending on if we maintain them or maintain them in a pristine condition. Just to let y'all know. Okay, I'm here to bring in four roads on the fifth file of the shallows of ascension. Like he said, the total length is 1,714 feet, which equals out to about 0.33 of, of a mile, a third of a mile. First one on the list is Pascal Drive is 353 feet. Shallows of Ascension Avenue is 214 feet. Windborne Ave Boulevard is 351 feet. And Emmy Avenue is 796 feet. I don't know how y'all want to take them in. Sometimes you take them in individually. Individually. We're going to go individually, uh, Mr. DeArmond. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'll make the motion to take in Pascal Drive. Second. Got a, got a motion by Mr. Dempsey Lambert, second by Mrs. Casso. Take in Pascal Drive. Any discussion on it? Any opposition? So move. Shadows of Ascension Avenue be the next one. I'll make that motion. Thank you. Motion by Mr. Kessel, second by Mr. Joseph. Any discussion? No discussion. So move. The third one is Winborn Boulevard. Motion, Mr. Chairman. Got a motion by Mr. Second. Dempsey Lambert, second by Ms. Kessel. No discussion. So move. And the last one is Emmy Avenue. So move. Second. A motion by Mr. Joseph, second by Ms. Kessel. One little discussion. I've been getting an email, and uh, uh, and it's kind of something to do with taking in roads. You know, parish. You know, we we we're using all the funding that we have to maintain our parish roads. We get a lot of emails and phone calls on state highways. I recently got one, and it's more related to the schools, where they're having a lot of delays at the schools. Now, I don't know if that's something we can get with the sheriff or with the school board. But the, the road crossing guys are let the whole school parking lot go out before they let any traffic go through. I know the schools are paying for these road crossing guys. The school board pays for them because uh, the sheriff doesn't provide the road crossing. He maybe has control over them, but I don't know if there's something we can do. They'll stay down like Dutchdown High. They're going to clear the whole parking lot. Everybody's going to be held up 
until that parking lot is cleared. Why can't they, you know, shuttle it where, is that something we can, we got any control on it? We have no control over that. Two things, it's a state road, and two things, the school board has a contract with the sheriff. And I brought that to her attention through some emails, you know. It was a citizen uh, email. Y'all might have got the same email uh, saying that she just got stuck in traffic. It took some, takes an hour just to get a couple miles sometimes, you know, because of the schools on 621 and 73. So I, I don't know if there's something we can maybe send help there with the, with, with the sheriff. Uh, well, you might want, I don't know who's in control the, the, for the sheriff's office on, on those school patrols, but yeah. whoever that is, maybe come and dress the committee. And, it might be Lynch. Huh? Huh? It might be uh, Lynch involved. Chad. Chad no. yeah. Todd, uh, Ken, would you call uh, Chad Lynch and ask him if he can uh, address that, maybe come to the next come meeting? Come to the next transportation meeting. Maybe kind of give, because we're getting a lot of, a, a lot of complaints. This, you know, they're getting held up at the school traffic more than, I know we got to get these kids in and out of school. You know, I, I realize that, but it seemed like they could they could help a little bit with that. In with regard to the same email, I, I had the opportunity this morning to forward that email to Tony Bacala, okay. who offered to address uh, the complaint, the concerns right. of this particular citizen, and uh, so that was done. Okay. And and hopefully he has responded to her yeah. uh, today. He certainly right. told me he would. So uh, we've been working Appreciate on that. that. Yeah. No problem. Okay. We'll move on to the uh, last item on the agenda, number eight, uh, proposed resolution to authorize corporate endeavor agreement between Ascension Parish and LADOTD for maintenance and operation of a boat launch and parking facility located at the intersection of LA 42 and 431. Mr. Taylor? Uh, as the... As the item says, this is for the uh, boat launch for us to maintain um, what DOTD is building. Um, in, and uh, uh, I, I guess we're looking for a... So uh, moved, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I got a motion by Mr. Joe, a second by Mr. Dempsey Lambert to approve this resolution. Any opposition? Any discussion? Just one discussion, Mr. Mr. And Dempsey. And again, I really want to appreciate, thank everyone. This has been... A long process and many boat uh, trailer axles that's been missing. Uh, <laughs> it has been one thing after the other. So after they get this in, I mean, this is going to be a pleasure to see people b launching their boats, everyone enjoying the recreation on the river. So thanks for everyone putting uh, no problem putting it together. No opposition. We'll move on that motion. Number nine. Motion to adjourn. Motion by Mr. Kessel. Second. Second by Mr. Dempsey Lambert to adjourn.